actually start execution, filling in a lot of the people, uh, the key positions in government, based on merit, not on politics, who can actually get the job done. But that's what Rick is all about. You find energetic, talented people that are competent, hardworking, and empowering them to deliver. Can you talk you about how you're going to go about doing that? Because you were supposed to be, I mean, you obviously attract a lot of the conservative voters, but you also compromise with the Democrats as well. Can you talk about how you relate to both and, and how you, that will help you with solving problems in Michigan? I could care less about titles. What I'm looking for is uh, people that want to solve problems today, whether they're Democrats, Republicans. Um, I'll sit down and break bread with anybody. I reach out across the aisle, across the Capitol, uh, the same attitude that Rick carries. And so we believe that we're going to be able to change the attitude, change the, the politics in Michigan, such that we're focused on changing problems or changing uh, the, the culture here in Michigan to solve problems regardless of the barriers between us. And number one is jobs. Right? Number one is jobs. People want to work right now, and we're going to change the strategy from chasing big business around the globe to cultivating and building around what we already have here in Michigan. Have you named it? Have, have you or Rick named any cabinet members? Have you, have you picked your team yet? No, there aren't any. There aren't any uh, positions filled in. We're not going to get ahead of the voters. The voters have to have their say, and if they entrust us with this responsibility, uh, we will move quickly because time is short and the work is great. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.